concrete and steel are very useful and um, we wouldn't be able to be where we are at the moment if we didn't have concrete and steel in the last hundred years or so but they they do give they do have penalties for the environment It's a small research group within the architectural practice um, and its purpose is to, um, to collaborate with people to study aspects on the periphery of architecture. Mycelium is basically the organism that um, flowers into mushrooms. Mushrooms have an underground uh, structure that is actually the organism and it, uh, it's a very clever structure. You can grow mycelium quite easily. So mycelium uh, can be grown in, in our little laboratory setting. We make um, objects by growing, by introducing mycelium spores into a substrate, wood chips or, or flax or something, and um, it all grows together in a couple of weeks. Um, and if we make molds for it, then we can grow it into shapes and the shapes can then be dried. Um, and they are quite firm objects that you can hold and they have a certain amount of strength. They have really good acoustic behavior. They can absorb um, sound and they have a fairly good fire rating. To turn it into a proper construction material, we have a long way to go. But as we showed in Clerkenwell Design Week this, this year in, in the summer in London, we made 82 blocks uh, which we stacked and uh, we created objects of it, stools and um, a piece of wall and a table. One of the things we can do as architects um, is to look at better materials for construction. If we were to look at materials to replace concrete and steel, we would save a lot of the, uh, of the energy and, and carbon problems that we have. 